On May 5, 1914, in Cincinnati, Ohio, Tyrone Edmund Power was born into an illustrious theatrical family. His father, Frederick Tyrone Power II, died in his arms of a heart attack in 1931. It was then that Tyrone decided to continue in his father's footsteps as an actor, but there was no work for him. Discouraged, he went to New York to gain experience as a stage actor. Eventually winding up in Hollywood, he signed with 20th Century Fox in 1936. After a rocky start, he was fourth billed in the movie Lloyds of London. His screen presence was so great, he walked into the premiere of the movie An Unknown, and he walked out a star, which he stayed for the remainder of his career. His handprints and footprints were cast in cement at Grauman's Chinese Theater in 1937, when he was only 23 years old. In 1939, his services were requested for the role of Ashley Wilkes in Gone with the Wind, but Daryl Zanuck refused to release him. He was named the second biggest box star of 1939, second only to Mickey Rooney. He was one of Hollywood's most eligible bachelors, and after two marriages and two divorces, he married his third wife in 1949. In 1940, the direction of Tyrone Power's career took a dramatic turn when his movie The Mark of Zorro was released. His performance was so good that he was often cast as a swashbuckler in the years that followed. Tyrone rolled out hit after hit from 1936 until 1943, when his career was interrupted by military service. Rather than re-releasing his pictures during the war, Tyrone was not seen on screen again until 1946, producing another long string of successful movies. In 1958, Tyrone Power died suddenly of a heart attack while on the set filming the movie Solomon and Sheba. Tyrone Power was buried at Hollywood Cemetery in Hollywood. He was and is still considered one of the most beloved and successful of Hollywood's classic movie stars.